Welcome in, everybody. Glad you're with us. Interleague Baseball on MLB The Show. It's the Los Angeles Angels going up against the Cincinnati Reds. First pitch coming at you right after the break. First pitch moments away and towing the slab in this one Hunter Green. Well most pitchers today are pretty tall but this guy's definitely taller than most. He's kind of an imposing figure out there especially when he's standing on top of the bump. It's like he's looking down on you so hitters have to be prepared for a couple of things. Ball can get on you a lot quicker because of the extension and release point and then also tilt through the zone. If you're going to try to hit pitches at the bottom of the zone it's going to be difficult to get on plane. So look for something up from this guy. You might have a chance to do some damage. Anthony ball. Rendon in the box here lets that one go for a ball. Ball. Off the mark there. Now 2 0. Oh. Right through there for a strike. Cold night like tonight. Last thing you want to do as a hitter is get jammed or even off the end. Trying to find that sweet spot on the bat. I'll tell you what, you are trying to catch things off front, so off speed pitches may be a good compliment to that fastball. Pitch misses there, and the count's full. To the right side. He handles it himself. Out. One up, one down. All right, let's take a look at the Angels lineup. This is an offense, Chris, that's having a hard time scoring runs right now. Yeah, sometimes things just aren't going to click, and unfortunately what happens is players press, they try to do a little bit more, and they get out of their game. You've got to let the game come to you. If you chase it, it's going to run from you. So this is a team that just needs to calm down, relax, and understand that they're going to come out of this. Here's Trout. Ah. Edge of the zone for a strike. One one. One out, base is empty. Next offering is in for a strike. And there's a ball. Well, he missed badly with that 0-2 fastball. Hitter has to understand, probably wants to try to put him away with that pitch, so got to stay ready for it. Fights that one away, still one and two. One down, base is empty. And Outside. the slider oh. just misses. It's a good take. And that one in the air, center field. Under it. Pulls it in for the out. Batting third. The left fielder, number three. Here's the left fielder, Taylor, Taylor Ward. Ward. Good power, not great in the OBP department. Ripped to third, but handled, and that'll end the inning. And the Angels are gone in order. And now the Reds will get their first opportunity. No score. It's Major League Baseball on the show. Back here at Great American Ballpark. Now the starting pitcher in this one, Tyler Anderson. How about a scouting report on him? It's always interesting to see how he utilizes all of his pitches and how many of those he has a good feel for on that we'll given right. day. When he's right, he's really able to keep hitters guessing, and all of his stuff seems to be coming out of the same arm yeah. slot, the same tunnel, and that can make life very difficult ah. on his opponents. Jonathan oh, India stands in now and watches strike one. Left field. Ward calls it in, and there's one away. Here's the lineup for the Reds. Not a whole lot going their way offensively the last few games, Chris. 
Yeah, but again, that can put more pressure on the pitching staff to try to limit the opponent to just one or two runs a game, knowing that their offense is not scoring right now. And that never really works well because you try to be too fine and you end up giving up a lot of runs. So we'll see if everybody can just relax, bring things together, and perform at a level that they're capable of. The why to kick the pitch. Comes up empty. That's strike two. No ball. Two strikes. Oh. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Well, that at-bat seemed to be over as soon as it started. Three-pitch strikeout. The You've got to be better at the plate right there. At least to foul something off, extend that at-bat. Christian Encarnacion Strand One stands in the no two strike. away as he takes a ball. Anderson ready to work. And that one missing low. Swings and misses and one down below the zone. Two outs. Wormburner into the outfield for a knock. He was all over that. that guy. Just a simple ground ball no the other way that had eyes on him. And sometimes that's all you need to do. Just get the ball travel, put the ball in play, and just hope it finds a hole. And now Spencer Steer. Outside corner, there's a strike. he was looking for crushes it and hits it out of the ballpark Is there ball one? one -oh. Two out spaces empty. Now fly ball to right center. Moniac settles underneath it. He's got it. And that is out number three. Cincinnati plates a pair on this homer. It's now a 2-0 ball game. It's Major League Baseball, and it's on the show. Back here in Cincinnati, top of the second. Here's Miguel Sano. Miguel. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. Yeah. Pitch is in there. Strike one. Sano no in his What's eighth good? season, 30 years old now. He joined the team as a free agent. That Ooh. one finds the zone. That is strike two. I understand you want to try to gauge that guy's fastball, but you also have to be aggressive and ready to hit in your zone. Now you're in a tough spot. Swings and misses struck him out. That was a well-executed slider away for the strikeout right there. First two pitches filled up the zone and got him ahead 0-2 in the count. And at that point, he could start expanding the zone as a pitcher. He made him chase and got the quick strikeout. 
And next for the Angels, Mickey Moniak. Yep. And that is cut on and missed. Oh, and that is strike one. One down, base is empty. One one. one there. Making the calls behind the plate in this one is Woody Keller. Yeah, and Woody does a pretty good job back there, Boog. He's got a pretty fair strike zone most of the time. Maybe some inconsistency here or there, but usually he's back there doing a solid job. Close, ball. but called a ball. Two balls. Now two One balls strike. and a strike. Singy, what kind of strike zone is most frustrating for hitters? I'd say off the plate, away, and down. Right. And why those are the toughest locations to hit the baseball. The pitch. As the game has moved along, we see more and more information supplied by teams about the umpires. I've been in clubhouses where they have pictures of all four guys, nicknames, hometowns, and as well, hobbies listed, just so you can kind of small talk the umpire a little bit. <laughs> That's great. And that's ball four. ball four. It's tough after falling behind a hitter, two balls and no strikes, but now at least he gets a fresh start against a new batter, but he needs to get back into the strike zone and start pitching with conviction. And yeah, the batter now, Logan O'Hoppy. First, Moniak back on a dive. Moniak leads off first with one away. Not one even one. close there. And the count even one and one. Right hander kicks deals. Swing and a tapper that rolls foul. Offering is outside. Foul ball, another 2 2 upcoming. And the right hander deals. Swings and misses on the fastball up in the zone for the strikeout. With that kind of velocity and elevated fastball, even if it's still in the strike zone, can be tough for hitters to get on top of. Luis Renjifo gets a chance to hit here. On the ground. Tosses to first, Out. and that'll do it. Angels leave one. They trail things here, 2-0. And welcome back to the ballpark. The, well, the batter will be the shortstop, short Nelly De La Cruz. De La Cruz. As he turns on the rubber, and with that good live arm delivers. You can feel the extra attention on Ellie anytime he comes to the plate. This guy's a player that keeps you on the edge of your seat because you don't know what he's going to do next. He can hit for power, steals bases. He can throw the ball 100 miles per hour across ball. the infield. He's electric. One ball, one strike. Here's a 1-1. One -one. The no, shortstop takes the ball. The ball. Two one. And strike two. And now it's filled up. Popped up to the left. Into foul ground. Rendon makes the grab. And there's one away. That except the center field. Stewart. Stuart Fairchild, the next to hit for the Reds. 
Gets the call, and that's strike one. Here it comes. Popped up. Settles under this one. Puts it away for the out. Batting it. The third baseman. Santiago. Two outs, base is empty. Espinal. Now the third baseman, Santiago Espinal. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. The strong second inning is a confidence builder for him, a relief for his manager. Doesn't have to get into that bullpen quite as early. Two down, nobody on. And no, that's, that's off the, ball. the inside edge. One and more. now it's even one and one. He swings and fouls one off. And he hits a ground ball right side. Ring Efo on to first. And the Reds go one, two, three. So they go quietly there. We play two full. It's the Reds two and the Angels nothing. Back here at Great American Ballpark, top half of the third inning. So in now for the Angels, Joe Adele. Adele. Green back to work. There's the yep. strike. Oh, and two now. Keeps the at bat going with a foul ball. Out to short. Leadoff hitter out gone in the third. Deceptive slider right there. Stayed in the tunnel a long time. Got that hitter out front. Well, they put it on the ground. The good one. Yeah. So yeah. digging in, Zach Neto. Taken high in the draft. He's had that top prospect label over him since he put on a professional uniform. But at some point, that starts to go away, and you've got to produce at the big league level. Ball. And a good eye there. The Angels down by a pair. We're here in the top half of inning number three. Swing and a miss. And the count is one and one. Boom. One ball. That's cheddar, one baby. That one inside. No. Two and one. Two balls. One strike. This one in the air. India under it and makes the grab two down. Now back at the third base, Anthony. Here's Rendon. Anthony Rendon up to the plate. 0 for one, he grounded out in his first at bat. Ball and that's outside. One. You want to be patient One here. Ball. Try to work no a walk if you can. You've got a big power bat behind you in the on-deck circle. With two outs, one swing can put you right back in this ball game. And a pop-up. Right side, foul territory. That takes care of Rendon. And that is that. Angels go quietly there. And they're down 2 nothing. And we're back. Leading and now the veteran the catcher, red. Luke Maley. The catcher, Luke Maley. The pitch. Ball. And ball one. 1-0. One -oh. Next Three. offering is in for a strike.
Too and that high. one a little bit high. And now the lefty. That's a ball. Downstairs, four, four, and down. it misses Get ball base. four. Well, he tried to nibble right there and just missed his spot. He didn't offer the it. Now he has somebody the to worry base about base. over at first. Jonathan yeah. Indy at the plate. Indy, Flying to yeah. left his first time. Misses, and that's ball one. One ball. No Mailey strike. aboard here at first with nobody out. Line drive. He dives, but he can't make the catch. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. Now that solid swing from start to end. On time with everything. Really good balance. Nice extension. And he met it out front for the line drive knock. And now the designated hitter for the Reds, Will Benson. Struck out swinging his first time. Out right. front with the swing, and that is strike no one. Ball. One strike. The pitch. Hit on the ground might be two. Slings to second. To Sano, double play. Now, to me, that's one of the toughest double plays to turn on the infield. The first baseman has to get inside, create a throwing lane to hit that middle infielder to start the double play, and then from there, completing it back to first. Really good job all the way around. Christian Encarnacion Strand, the next to hit for the Reds. Fastball for a strike. Going one. Oh, one. Two outs and a runner at third. Here in the last half of the third. Ball Close one. one. Doesn't get the call. One and one. There's a strike. Well, I know they've gotten out to an early lead, but you don't want to take these opportunities for granted. With two outs, still lock in with a quality at bat. Drive in that run. You may not have another runner in scoring position the rest of this ball game. Two outs. Ball two. Two ball. Two strike. Hold that down. one. Cutting but missing down low. Spencer Steer would be next if they can extend the inning. And he's homered already, so I'm sure he'd love a chance to do some more damage here. Here comes a 3-2. The 3-2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. The left fielder, number seven. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Spencer Steer. He's already homered in this game. And takes low for ball one. Two walks in the inning already, and he just doesn't seem comfortable out there. Like, he can find the right mechanics and then repeat them. Swung on, belted. That one carrying. And caught on the warning track. Red strand a couple, but they're on top 2 nothing. here in Cincinnati and here is Mike Trout he is quite an athlete I mean you look around the other sports basketball football you feel like he could thrive in one of those sports too just missed next offering is in for a strike 
the pitch. No. Slider just misses. Now in this three ball count, down in the ball game, you've got to be very selective. Take your walk if they'll give it to you. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. Lace down the line, and now maybe extra bases. Around first, heading for two. And it's a double, their first hit in this one. Well, patience and discipline oh, paid off right good. there as he got into an advantage count. Just a hey, solid man. swing right there. Ooh. Caught it out front and ripped it into the outfield for the base hit. Those always feel great. Taylor Ward, the next to hit. He's 0 for 1. There's Ooh. a strike. Well, here's a good opportunity in this inning to get on the scoreboard after that leadoff hit. And hard to order coming up right behind him. This is where they need to get going. Righty to the plate. What Ward do you got? started after it, tried to hold up. Now look to first, and that's going to be ruled a swing. And it's second. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Not what you're looking for after the leadoff double. A strikeout, and there's one away. Get him out in front, which isn't easy to do against a hitter like this, known for using the entire field. Just couldn't sit back long enough on that one. Sano in the box now. No balls and a strike. And that skips in the dirt. And a pitch. That misses the zone. Two and one. The Halos trailing by two. Top half of inning number four. Swing and a miss as he was out front. Generally, second, third time through the lineup, you want to be able to lean on those secondary pitches and command them. Looks like he's doing a nice job of it. The punch out there, and there's two away. So back-to-back -back strikeouts now, and they still haven't managed to do anything with the leadoff double. Yeah, Boog, and you just don't want to get careless here. You've done a really good job to get two outs after that leadoff double, as you mentioned. And just got to execute your pitches, and it's a non-issue. Moniac in the box with two gone. No and One takes strike. a look at a called strike. The oh. one is outside, and it's a ball and a strike. fly ball down the left field line and no one can get to it it's a foul ball and he deals line to left it gets down base hit fires it to the plate but it's offline well, back within one as he brings home the run. Anytime you rip the line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. And now, let's see if they force some action with good wheels on the bases. Logan Ohapi, the next to hit for the Angels. Ohapi checks the swing. Got? Now it appeal to first. Yes, he did. That's a swing. No. This is just off the outside edge. I think that was a strike. Moniac, the runner at first with two gone. Check oh, swing. Dude. Did he go? Yes, he did. One ball, two strikes. Two outs. Dude. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. So they pick up a run on two hits, no errors, and a man left. To the bottom of inning number four now. It's the Reds two and the Angels one.
And welcome back Leading to the ballpark. The Reds, Bottom of the fourth, and the now the right fielder, field. Jake Fraley. Is hitting for that pop. Came out of the gates really strong. And that one just misses. A ball and no strikes. Well, these Reds doing a great job, Boog, of just waiting for the right pitch to come their way. And I'm seeing oh, very no. patient at bats out of them. They're doing a good job of working the pitch count, and they've been able to push a couple of runs across to score as well. The wind to kick the 2 0. Oh, just please. missed. Still relatively early, but with the pair of runs already on the board, the ripple effect of that high pitch count might set him up to do more damage later in this game. Left hand batter waits. That Rock one ball. finds the zone, and the count is three and one. That's a great at bat. He saw a lot of pitches and earned a walk. Yeah, that could be a toe set for the inning. Four straight pitches and leadoff batters on base. We'll see if the next guy waits until there's a called strike before he takes the bat off the shoulder. De La Cruz stands in now, looks at that one inside. The kick and the pitch. Runner goes. And there's a foul ball. Runner at first with no outs here. Now snap throw to first. And he nice. dives back in safely. The Reds signed Ellie in 2018, but it took a few years for him to stand out in their minor league system. In 2021, he went from an unranked Three prospect high. to a player on a fast track One to the two. majors. Few scouts out there believe a growth spurt helped change Ellie's entire career. Swing and a miss struck him out. Now well, there's a small sigh of relief right there. I mean, just to keep that speed off the base paths, it's not just the pitcher, it's other guys that have to think about it from your infielders, have to think about that runner potentially stealing, but also be in position to make a play. As an outfielder, you're thinking about a base hit to the outfield. I got to get to it quickly to try to keep this guy from taking an extra base. So I think everyone just a little more relaxed that he didn't reach base. And now here's a speed threat. Outfielder, Stuart Fairchild. Ball, First offering, down. and it just misses. Grounder might be two. There's one. Return throw to first, got him. Double play, and that'll do it. Nothing across here this half. We're headed to the fifth. It's the Reds two, and the Angels one. We go to the top of the fifth. So in now for the Angels, Luis Rangifo. Red Rangifo. The wind and the pitch. Frank uh -huh. measures 5 feet 10 inches, 27 years old, and he was born in Venezuela. Ball. Next pitch misses. Ball one. One ball, one strike. Fastball oh. in for a strike. One and two. One ball, two strikes. And another ball. Outside. Swing at a ball lifted to center field. 
Fairchild right there to make the grab. And there's one down. Here's Joe Adele. Rounded out his first time up. Up the middle. Fires to first on the run. And there are two outs. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Zach Neto, the next to hit for the Angels. 0 for 1 so far. The offense oh. needs to start showing some fight against this starter. He's doing his thing out there. They're going to have to push back at some point and make him work a little bit harder. Swing and a pop-up. Foul out of play off to the right side. That'll find the stands. The Reds leading by a run. And we're at the top of the fifth. And yeah, that's a little bit high. Two and one. And that one pulled foul. And the righty deals. And another okay. ball. strikes he goes and good work there as he gets a one two three angels held in check and our score remains two one bottom of the inning to go, and ready to hit now right. for Cincinnati Santiago Espinal Santiago. A line of the pitch. Ball. And that's outside. And that ball. is ball no one. Strike. Here comes a pitch. Laced into left. That's a base hit. So a man on base to start the inning. Well, a swing like that can help you come out of this struggle. We saw the numbers coming into the ball game. But all he's trying to do at this point is help his team win. Here's Luke Maley. He reached out a walk his first time. And a pop-up, right side, foul territory. Sano makes the catch, and there's one gone. Good hard fastball up in the zone right there. They the look bat. really good coming the in, but it's so hard to get on top of as a hitter. Back to the top of the lineup. Now here's the Reds' leadoff man, Jonathan India, one for two. There he goes. Out towards right center field. Adele moves under it. Makes the grab, and there's two gone. Up next to Cincinnati, the designated hitter. Will Benson. Now it's the DH, Will Benson. He's someone that you might not describe as having elite level speed, but he can absolutely move, and it is a factor in his game. Sharp grabber, that's through for a base hit. Throw in holds the lead runner at second. Two on now with two away. Christian Encarnacion Strand, the next to hit for the Reds. That's ball. off the mark, and yeah, that's ball one. one. Oh. 
pitch in there, and a count one and one. That fastball, even though it's up, that's the velocity you want to go after. Low 90s, a lot better than trying to hit the high no, 90s. Just missed. Tough spot right here, a couple runners on. Two ball count. You can't nibble, but you have to execute and finish your pitch. If you leave something out over the plate, it's going to bring in some runs. Back to the mound, and it finds its way through for a hit. The throw in, not in time. He's safe. A run comes in on the play. Well, here we are, third time through the order, and this is where we see the OPS jump up. Manager might have to go to the bullpen a little bit sooner than he anticipated. First and second, two down. Now the left fielder, Spencer Steer. He's already homered here in this one. Tapped at the plate, but it's a foul ball. Traffic on the bases with one already in. Last half of inning number five. That's a little bit low. Action in the Angels' bullpen. Carson Fulmer getting ready to go. Cisnero warming up as well. Two on, two outs. And now two and one. It's a big opportunity right here, but I love the way he's slowing the game down. He's shrinking his zone, making sure he gets the pitch that he wants to hit. that one foul first and second two down okay. and he dodges that fastball okay. out there to center Moniak on the move Corrals it. And that is the inning. But the RBI single pushes across a run. And this is now a 3-1 ball game. Back after this on the show. And we're back. All right, we go to the top half of inning number six. Here's the third baseman, Anthony Rendon. Green back to work. Late ah. with the swing there. Meanwhile, oh, wow. activity in the bullpen. Fernando Cruz preparing to come on if needed. Suter, the lefty, warming up as well. And the 0 1. Ball 1. 1 1. Swing and a miss as he was late. You can live up in the zone all game if guys will chase it. That's just too much velocity. Hitters got to look down in the zone. That's towards center. Sizing this one up. Hauls it in, and there's one away. That's a really nice play, ranging back into the outfield for that catch. Like all know, those could be a little tricky, especially if the wind swings around out there. Here's Mike Trout. Great speed and great power. A great athlete, quite simply. First pitch misses. When you have One ball. a real no athletic strike. player and who's able to do the baseball mechanical things really well, look out because the sky's the limit on that potential. Swing and a miss. And a count even at one. One strike. Swings through that one for strike two. One ball. Oh, there's a pitch we haven't strike. seen in a while. It's pretty tough on the hitters if he can mix that in whenever he wants. Not two, two. close with that one. And the count is two and two. Talk about the right guy at the right spot. They really need a rally. And this guy is someone you can believe in to find a way to get on base. Ball. Good eye in that spot. He should get a pretty good pitch to hit here with three-hole hitter coming off if he's wrong. Three, two down. And it's ball, ball four. He missed down low. 
Pitch count's getting up there now, and not the saying that's the reason for this walk, but Haley. this is the point in the game Ooh. when every sign of wavering starts to get everyone's attention. Now this team is definitely looking for a big swing of the bat right here. Try to close that gap, but you know, at the very end. Oh, I think the base runner was trying to catch him off guard, perhaps looking to steal right away, and wasn't ready to get back to first. Nice pickoff move by the pitcher. Ward ball in one. now. Takes ball one off one the plate. Ball. Wouldn't chase no. that time. He hasn't wanted to challenge him. Both of those pitches off the plate away. Don't expect anything down the heart of the plate. You may just have to be patient and take your walk here. Can't Outside. find it here. That's six straight balls. Let's see if he gives him anything to hit here. Oh. And a foul ball. Two down, nobody on. Popped up. Under it. Pulls it in in the inning. Three up, three down for him there. We go to the bottom half of inning number six, and the five, six, seven slots do up. It's the Reds three and the Angels one. Back now for the bottom of the sixth, and there's a new pitcher on the mound, Matt Moore. He pitched yesterday, and we'll see him once again. Now it's the right fielder, Jake Fraley. He's 0 for 1. The right fielder, Jake Fraley. And a pitch. And a foul ball. Well, these Reds doing a good job of simply getting the bat on the ball in this game, and the numbers back that up. The numbers tell us they're averaging more than a hit every inning, and they've only struck out twice, so they keep finding ways to put their bat on the ball. The 2 Chopped left side. Whips it to first on the run. Out. One away, bottom of the six. Now that, that's your shortstop. Cruz. Here's the shortstop at the play. Ellie De La Cruz. A switch hitter batting right. So here's Ball a fun one. note on Ellie. He became the youngest player in high A ball to homer from both sides of the plate in the same game, and it gets better. He did it again two games later. Those are the type of games that tend to get you promoted in the minors. Rendon calls it in to away. Up next in Cincinnati, the center, center fielder, field. Stewart. Stewart. Digging in, it's the speedy outfielder, Stewart Fairchild. And first offering is fouled off. Out to short, Neto. To first, Out. and it's a 1-2-3 inning. Nobody left for Cincinnati, and the score stays 3-1. Welcome back. We're in the seventh. We have a new pitcher on the mound, Fernando Cruz. He's pitching on two days rest. And now the first Miguel baseman, Miguel, Miguel Sano, the first who's over two with a pair of strikeouts. Miguel Sano. Pitch. 
That one misses, and it's one to no. One ball, no strike. Fly ball, center field. Sizes this one up. He's there. He's got it. And there's one away. Now that the center fielder, Mickey. Here's the center fielder, Mickey Moniak. Picked up an RBI in his last at bat. Still their only run of the game so far. Just no. missed. Next pitch is outside. Two ball, no strike. Right handed reliever. That one spoiled, and they count now two and one. The Angels down by a pair here at the top half of inning number seven. Up the middle, De La Cruz on the run, throw to first, two away. The bad guy, the catcher, Logan. Logan O'Hoppy, the next to hit for the Angels. First pitch doesn't find the zone. That one's in there. Two balls, two strikes. Well, in this one, the offense has sputtered. Somebody's got to find a way to get on, keep the line moving, and manufacture at least one run. Then maybe you get two or three. Two outs. Still two and two after the foul ball. Belt and fires. Spoils that one and it remains two and two. Two down, nobody on. Fights it off, you'll see another. And a pitch. Swings and misses. He battled for a long time, but it finishes with a strikeout. You can't be mad at yourself after an at bat like that one. Angels go down one, two, three, and it remains a three-one ball game. We're back in a new pitcher here to start the bottom of the seventh. Jose Cisnero. Pretty tight game, so they're looking for quality pitches out of him right here. Got to do his best to keep the score right where it is. In now for the Reds, Santiago Espinal. Espinal. The pitch. That misses the zone. Ball one. Kicks and fires. That one fouled off. There's a ball. The pitch. In the air, right side. And out number one on the grab. Now, now batting, catcher, catcher, Luke. Luke. 
Mailey. Luke Maley, the next to hit for the Reds. That ah. one's in there, 0 and 1. Activity in the bullpen for no the ball. Angels. What Carson goes? Fulmer appears to be getting loose. Base is empty, one away. Here at the bottom of the seven. Swings and misses. 0 and 2. 0 2. Tapped in front of the plate. Gets it to first. And yeah, there's two away. The batter, the batter number six. six. Second, Second baseman. baseman. Jonathan. So back to the top of the Reds India. lineup. Jonathan India, the next to hit for the Reds. One for three. Ah. That one finds the zone. It's 0-1. Righty delivers. Ball. Here's a swing and a drive left field, and he knew it. That'll fire up the dugout. His first home. He's been waiting for this moment to finally come. Well, we knew it would come eventually, and I wouldn't be shocked to see him going a nice little run at the plate, hitting some balls out of the ballpark. He's got that monkey off his back. Just an excellent swing all the way around, and he's got that sound coming off the back that gets everyone's attention. Got a pitch to drive, short to the baseball, squared it up, and the backspin carried it out of here. Now it's the Reds DH. Will Benson. Ball. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Left hand hitter waits. Hit. Around first, digging for two. Now the tag at second, and he's out, trying for two. And that ends the inning. Welcome back, and a new arm on the mound to start the eighth. Emilio Pagan. He last pitched two days ago. So in now for the Angels, Luis Rangifo. The pitch. Huh. In for a strike. Four and one. Pagan in his seventh season, 32 years old, and he was a 10th round pick back in 2013. See the velocity, 97 with that fastball. Down and in. Got to keep things airtight defensively right here. On your toes, ready to make a play. If you can get this to the ninth with a three-run lead, it should be a W. Ball. And another ball. Two ball. Two strikes. Lifted in the air, right center field. Makes his way towards it. Got it. Really had to move for that grab. One away. Now, now, and now the right, right fielder, right. Joe Adele. Joe Adele. Okay. 
Here's a strike, 95 of that one. Pitch misses, and the count even one and one. Out to short, De La Cruz. Throw to first is in time. We talked about the ball. The ball is coming out of the pitcher's hand. The way it comes out of his hand as an infielder. Wow, really impressive. Two outs, base is empty. Digging in, Zach Neto. Well, it's critical right here that they bear down and turn in some quality at bats, try to chip away at that lead, because if it gets to the ninth, that closer's coming in. That one finds the zone, and it's 0-1. Out towards right center. That's well struck. And an automatic double as it hops the fence. The automatic double kind of feels like enjoying cruise control in the car, board. You don't need to keep the pedal down as you cruise into second base. Just no worries in the world. You know what? He put a really good swing on that one. Now it's Anthony Rendon. First pitch, oh, no. and he just misses. The Halos trailing by three, and we're at the top of the eighth. The oh. next pitch misses, and the count is 2-0. And that's downstairs and outside. Mike Trout hoping for a chance. He would represent the tying run. Yeah, Boo, plenty of power in that bat. And they'd love to give him a shot here. Here's a 3-0. Ah. the corner at the knees. Oh, yeah. Outside, and that oh, is ball four. Well, he earned his trip to first right there. It's not okay. easy laying off pitches that just miss the zone like that. And it's a real discipline as well. He's put a lot of work into that aspect of his game, and it paid off right there. now take strike one get a little frustrated with the strike zone the tying run at the plate swaying and a ground ball out to short to second oh. India that ends the frame Angels strand a couple and they trail it 4-1 New pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth, Carson Fulmer. Just trying to keep this one close here, and this is where a bullpen can give their players a chance to fight back into the game. At the play, Leading Christian the Encarnacion the Strand. No, Christian Encarnacion Strand. And he deals. And first offering is fouled off. And the right-hander deals. And that one is lifted in the air. Adele moves under it. Drops into the glove. And a quick out number one. The left fielder, number seven. Here's the left fielder, Spencer Steer. This kid picked up in a trade. A lot was offered and given to get him, but he's got a real high ceiling. First pitch misses. And here it comes. 
Ball that two. one missed. Two out Base is empty, one away. Near the bottom half of the eighth inning. Smoked on the ground a second. Tossed to Sano. Out. And they got him. Now bad right fielder. Jay. Fraley. Next for Cincinnati, Jake Fraley. And no. that's down and away. On the ground, right side. It's through for a hit. So a two-out knock keeps the inning alive. Up next, up next to that. He kind of rolled over on this pitch a little bit, but he got enough behind it to shoot it through for a knock. And you'll take that any time you can get him to find a hole. And now the shortstop, Ellie De La Cruz. No, that's a ball. First offering, and it just misses. One ball, no strike. Fraley off of first with two away. Rudder takes off. Strike yep. in there. Transfer bobbled and there's no throw. Kicks and deals. Hammers that one deep left field and forget. Circles the bases. Home run number five on the season. And they add a couple more. It's 6-1. That's their third home run of the game. They're having a lot of fun at the plate in this one. They've got the long ball working for them on autopilot. Fairchild, the next to hit for the Reds. First One offering out. in the dirt. The pitch. There's a strike. One one. across to score in the inning courtesy of this two-run homer last chance coming up here for the angels we're back it's the top of the ninth and there's a new pitcher on the mound nick martinez and you know, bullpen guys can struggle sometimes when they're called upon with big leads because it just doesn't have the same intensity as a tight game. So we'll see how sharp he is. Your mental toughness matters in situations like this as well. So in now for the Angels, Taylor Ward. Ward. As he turns on the rubber, and with that good live arm delivers. Movement in the bullpen. Brent Suter, the left-handed reliever, appears to be getting loose. Line drive, come on! That swing right there tells me he's seeing the ball pretty well. We know he didn't produce a hit, but he made solid contact, and that's all you're looking to do anytime you're at the plate. And next for L.A., Miguel Sano. 0 for 3 with two strikeouts and a flyout.
Hurry. in for a strike. It's 0-1. The Reds leading by five here at the top of the ninth. Pitch one in more. the dirt, and it's one and one. In the air, out towards left center. Steer grabs it on the run. Angels down to their final out. And next for the Angels, Mickey Moniak. And the pitch a little bit low, ball one. Right hander kicks deals. Late swing, foul to the left. One one now. Ball two. They're down to their final strike. The Angels down to their final strike. Comes up empty as he chases that one in the dirt. And that'll do it as they complete the strikeout to end it. That's how you check the box to start your career, Boo. First MLB winning your first MLB start. Congratulations to him on a major milestone. 6-1 is your final here today. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew, I'm John Chomby saying so long.